Hello and welcome to Podpad Studios episode 48. I'm Mrs Breaker and what have we got for you today? Well, we've got for you the combination of the Steam Pod 2 that only bat bike with cartwheels for wheels. Look at it. Ooh, lovely jubbly. And also what have we got for you? Ah, some info from one of our events organisers. So Maker Central was on August the 5th and 6th and 7th and now it's moved to May 2022. Please, please, if you've got tickets, support this event organiser. He is a maker and the event is fabulous if you're into making stuff. So if you're into craft or sewing or carving or making things with resin, all of that is there for you and it is a fab event. Really, really cool. Please support the events organisers in this time. They've had it so hard. So guys, good luck. We'll be there in the spring of 2022. We'll update our website and obviously it'll be all over the Maker Central website. So good luck, guys. We'll see you then. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, a little bit of an ad break. Please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please sub, 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 subscribe. Get your uncle to subscribe. Get your auntie to subscribe. Get your hamster to subscribe. It's totally free and we're nearly there. We're nearly at our target. So the more people subscribe and we know a lot of you watch our videos, really enjoy them and even comment on them and don't subscribe. So please subscribe because it really helps us as a small independent channel. We need all the subscribers we can get. And obviously, if you hit the bell, ta -ting, then you will get a notification every time we make a video, which is usually about once a week. On other news, we had a little problem with foxes in our area. We had somebody we know who lost a chicken to one of the foxes. So Master Maker has made his own fox. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm now waiting for him to make some chickens just to complete the scene. Might be a bit gruesome. Anyway, that's all for me for now. I'm going to pass you on to Master Maker and he's going to update you on the Steampunk Steam Pod 2, the only bat bike with cartwheels. Bye. Right, well, we're back out in the uh, workshop working on the Steam Pod bike. And you see, I've now got my woolly hat on because it's absolutely freezing out here. Summer is over. It's raining, it's snowing, there's been thunder, there's everything. So I'm not impressed. Anyway, working on the guns. So, typical Batman, you know, the guns for the steam pod. These will all be kind of drilled up and these then slot onto the side of the bike. Now, if I come around here, you get an idea. They're kind of gonna be, obviously they'll have a lot more. This is just the, the base cut. Um, they'll kind of slot in and they get locked off in a position wherever they go. And the same on the other side. And there's gonna be obviously lots and lots of detailing and a fit on here. And at the moment, I'm just working on sorting that out. I have added to this, the big tube at the front, as you can see here, uh, which is where the LEDs are mounted. And if I flip that on, you can see, he's got his little LED headlights now. So that tube has been done and that's all wired up and the battery's all in and it's all fitted down. Now I was thinking about putting the guns, lights on the guns. I might change that. I might change that and do something down here with LEDs on this lower section with like little, little lamps or something. I don't know yet. So uh, watch this space. Here we have it. Um, the thing's nearly 14 feet long. So what I haven't considered is how I'm gonna get it anywhere. I think it might fit on the truck. Won't fit in the van, it's too big. Um, guns come off, so I'll show you how they come off in a minute. So there's loads of extra detail. So I've done all this bit here. So we've got lots of blinky LEDs here, got some valves set in, even got a homage, paying homage to the time machine. Look, we have a time circuit. So a little lever that can go so we can send us back in time. Um, switching units all in there. And you've seen the lights before. So we've got colored LEDs. Oh yeah, these are new. So the lights at the front. Was gonna mount those on the guns, but I decided not to. It's just easier like that. And it, I think they look quite cool. So you've got the two LEDs in there and then you've got the two LEDs in there as well. And then obviously the lighting at the back. 
So that's all in. Um, the guns are fairly straightforward. So they, they just, they look really complex, but they're actually fixed on by, this one's fixed on by two wing nuts. So under the wing nuts, whole gun comes off. This one is the same. They're not quite finished yet. Wing nut underneath and the whole thing just slides out. And that means we can actually get the wheels off. So in theory, the, the very front to the very back is actually less, just a little bit less than eight foot. So it would fit in the van without the wheels on. How we do that though, is anyone's guess. Um, anyway, so what else have I added? Lots of little details, little uh, things like 3D printed bits and pieces. Number plate is on there at the back. Side stand at the moment, is a copper tube. Well, it's not actually copper, it's steel. It just looks like copper. Um, just slots in. I am gonna take that off and then design something that just flicks up like that. Because the problem is you have to carry this thing wherever you go. So I'll come up with a hinge system to hinge that up and then it will flip down and it will lock in position. And that will give me a center, a side stand. I've got some bracket um, uh, clamps to put around these wheels because obviously I'm a bit concerned about these big cracks. Although it's probably lasted a couple of hundred years, so I don't think uh, I need to worry too much about it. Uh, and then I might get another coat of varnish on those. See what they look like. And same with the seat. But we're getting there now. So it's just detailing that needs to go on really. Okay then, here we go. The Steam Pod Mark II, the latest incarnation. Um, I don't know where to start. Okay, there are no luxuries on this. Obviously this is the, for those of you that don't know, I built uh, a Batman Steam Pod uh, or Bat Pod. Um, and the idea was it had a little bit of a kind of a steampunk cyberpunk twist to it, but it wasn't really fully steampunk. So. I thought it'd be really, really good fun to make something that was really, really kind of steampunk. So completely over the top, so completely crazy that it was just brilliant. And this is it. Um, I think it's the wheels. The wheels make this. Now, the thing about these wheels is, as I said, there are no luxuries on this vehicle like tyres or anything. Now, normally you have tyres that stops the wheels kind of sliding off the road. This one doesn't have tyres. It has iron hoops. So these, this is wood, all these are wood, and they're, they're original old wheels. How old they are, I don't know. 100 years old, maybe, I don't know. But they're made amazingly well. They're all kind of fixed. I love this kind of craftsmanship, this original way people made wheels. Um, but as you can see, these significant iron hoops is all that separates you from the road. And of course, most vehicles have tires and they have it for a very, very good reason. And that's why riding this thing even at, I reckon, about 15 miles an hour, because the motor is um, knocking out about 450 watts, 36 volts through a reasonable um, reduction gear, which gives you a reasonable amount of speed given the size of these wheels. Five miles an hour is terrifying on this thing, let alone 15. And cornering? Pfft. I mean, it can turn. It's got full lock to lock steering. Um, so it will go round the corners. Whether it will go round the corners upright or not is a different question. Uh, I'm not gonna test that one, not now anyway. So one of the problems I had was stopping and I, I tried to solve this problem by thinking, do it the easy way, I'll just fit disc brakes because honestly I could just put a disc brake on here, caliper up to the handlebar and it would be really, really easy. I didn't go for easy. I went for authentic and I did a bit of research and looked at how basically carriages were stopped in Victorian times when they didn't have disc brakes. Apart from throwing an anchor out the back, I saw that basically they basically had a wooden block that just pushed against the wheel. So I basically done that. So I don't know what you can see, but down the back here is a little affair where there's a metal plate and it pushes against the wheel and it's operated by this lever. So when you push this lever, that literally pushes a metal plate against the back wheel and you stop. And it's that simple. It literally is like throwing an anchor out the back and it works, kind of. Um, no, it actually does work. The only problem, as I will now demonstrate, 
is that when you get on, obviously when you're on the bike, when you're riding along on the bike like this and your foot is up, instead of just grabbing a brake lever, you have to push back, if you can see with my foot here, my foot on the peg there, it pushes back against the brake. So you have to do this kind of like, it's a bit like playing the drums. You've got to balance it with both arms, pull the twist grip, be able to steer it with your knees, and when you want to stop, put your foot against the brake without putting your feet down. Yeah, maybe a disc brake might have been better, but this is more fun anyway. So what else have we got? I've got a working side stand now. So you can see it doesn't actually fall off when you don't need it. And it even flips up as well. Look at that. Bit of copper pipe with a bit of steel inside, otherwise it wouldn't have been strong enough. Um, guns are all on, LEDs are all on. I've showed you the underneath. Uh, oh, you can't really see it. It's around the other side. Little switch turns all the lighting on. So we've got all the LED lighting here. I will probably wear these tubes I've put in, these little test tubes. They look a bit kind of steampunky with bubbling liquid in them. I'm, I might light those with LEDs. Um, but around the front, you've got your main headlights and the LED lighting at the front. And then around the back, it's got lighting at the back, which um, we notice in the strip at the moment under the seat is a combination of red and orange and that I'm going to set that up as like bright lights as well <laughs> although why yeah I wouldn't want to be following this thing actually um, what else have we got everything is contained with the charging system is all in so now it can charge and obviously I'm going to run solar charging on this one as well suspension units are all in and plumbed in so everything works there we've even got a little control lever here paying homage to the time machine hg wells what did you start look at that i can even sort of doesn't do anything just looks cool so there's a few more tweaks cosmetic only to add oh yeah i added these now these are really really old wheels but they're kind of probably not designed to go on a on a on a on a, on a car anymore um i'm sure they would work but what I've done is just reinforce them a little bit because I was getting some quite large cracks through them. Um, and it's just the way the wood wears over the years. Because literally, like I said, they, they've got to be a few hundred years old. So I put these big braces on. That just, it just holds it all together. So any lateral forces I get from the chain and, and twisting on this wheel won't split the wood apart. So that should be, um, that'll get it, make it last much, much longer. Now, I mentioned a steam engine. So those purest steampunk fans amongst you will go, yep, yeah, really steampunk, but it doesn't, it's not steam powered. I have always wanted to build a steam engine. Now, the problem with steam engines, or the people I've talked to have said, by the time you've got it all set up and running, the two or three hours it might take you to set up and run, you then only get like 10 minutes of runtime. So it is kind of totally impractical. However, it might not be impractical to run the 12 volt system because at the moment I'm running 36 volts for the motor through these big primary batteries down here but I'm running under this fake tank a 12 volt system just to run some LEDs and they don't draw that much current so my plan is to add a steam powered generator to run the 12 volt system literally so it will run on steam so you'll have to put it won't be coal I'll probably use some sort of like methylated spirits tablets to power it that will power the little boiler. Um, it will then generate uh, electricity through a turbine, which will generate enough to run these LEDs. And it will be a true steampunk bat pod. We've just discovered one minor flaw with my side stand. It's too far back. So when you're actually on the bike, you can't reach the side stand to put it up and down. So actually you need to you need to have another person with you. But in the olden days, they used to have a person walking in front of steam powered vehicles with a flag. So I think I found a solution to that. It's simple really. Anyway, look, so a lot of people won't believe this moves. I'm not gonna ride it at any sort of speed because this is a tarmac or solid concrete. Well, it's not gonna happen. I'll get it on a field somewhere and then I'll ride it then. And if I fall off, then it won't hurt too much. But I'm not gonna even put my feet up. 
This is just to prove that it actually goes. <laughs> it goes. <laughs>